uh, hello guys today in this tutorial I will basically show you how you can edit a PDF document and add page numbers at the bottom position or left position or right position so we will be editing a existing PDF file guys inside JavaScript using PDF lib library inside the browser so this is the application we will be building guys here we will allow the user to select a PDF document so let me select this PDF document if I open this right now there is no page number out there you will see at the bottom screen if you see there is no page number so we will add a page numbers to each of all the pages inside this PDF document so what I need to do I need to select this PDF document after that we have three options either we can add it to the left position or right position or bottom position so where we have three checkboxes out there so let's suppose I want to add this in the bottom position so I will select bottom and click on this button so as I click the button guys a PDF file will be downloaded and if I open the PDF document you will see the page numbering will be there so you can see page one of the total number of pages which are two here in this case and uh, then this is the last page it will automatically detect guys how many pages are there in the PDF document and based upon that it will add the pages page page numbering so if you want to add, add page numbers inside the PDF document guys you can easily do that and now the second scenario guys let's suppose if I select the same file and now if I want in the left position now the uh, page numbering will be in the left position if you see guys the it is uh, staying in the left position so position is very important and the last position is right position and if you select the same file click the bottom side now sorry right side click on that so now it will be in the right position if you see guys the numbering is there in the right position so we will allow we will code this guys this project from scratch so let's start building this uh, tutorial if you see this also page 2 of 2 so let's start building this tutorial uh, application from scratch in JavaScript guys so the full source code is given in the description of the video and we are using a PDF lib library here so it's a client side or uh, library which can be used in Node.js and JavaScript it is used to edit PDF documents the main thing that you can edit the content of an existing PDF document and also you can create new PDF documents as well so you can create or modify PDF documents so in any JavaScript environment so we will be using it in the browser so we will uh, just include the CDN of it so in the official we website pdflibjs.org you just need to copy the CDN here and right here just make an index.html file here and simply paste the CDN right here at the top after you paste this guys I will start the coding from scratch so in the body here nothing is there right here so now we will add a heading here we will say that uh, add page numbers to PDF and after that guys we will actually have a form element and we will not be having an action attribute we will instead we will have an ID PDF form so that we can target in JavaScript so we will have a label guys here we will simply say that select a PDF file and uh, after that guys we will have an input element this will be of type file we will be giving an ID to it of PDF file and this will only be accepting only PDF files so this will be required so this will only accept PDF files and then we will have another label for the position guys so here we will say that uh, position for page numbers then again a break tag and here guys we will have a checkbox three checkboxes we will give it an ID left position and uh, the value for this checkbox will be left we will say left here like this and we will basically repeat this guys two more times 
so this will be for the right position value will be right and lastly we will have for the bottom position so if you just open this application interface this will be the interface guys we will have three check boxes left right bottom and a choose file button that's all so this is actual interface of the application and uh, lastly guys we do need to have a button to actually submit the form so just after this we will have a button here button type button and uh, we will be giving an id to it of uh, edit pdf we'll say that edit pdf and add page numbers this is a button guys so now we need to write our javascript code so inside the script element here first of all we will basically target the button by document or get element by id which will be added pdf and we will be giving an add event listener to it when we click the button what should happen so we will basically execute this method which is add page numbers so we will basically uh, make a function here which will be add page numbers so basically guys whenever we click this button this function will execute add page numbers so right here guys first of all we will get access to the pdf file that the user has selected using uh, the id that we have given to the pdf uh, select element so we have given the id you can see basically guys we have given an id of pdf file so we are targeting this id using document or get element by id and then to get the actual file we are using the files constructor you will see the first element this contain the actual file which is selected by the user and then we will basically select which position the user has selected by you can also use query selector instead of uh, document or get element by id here you just need to pass here whichever uh, input box is selected so we will basically get the name attribute guys here in double quotes you will write position <clears throat> and colon you need to say checked so for this guys we do need to basically give name attribute to each of the checkboxes just give this name attribute to each of the checkboxes element position so with the help of this name at name attribute that we given guys which is a very common attribute to each of these three checkboxes we are actually getting the which checkboxes have been checked by the user so here first of all in the first if condition we will check that if the user has selected a pdf file or not if they haven't in that case we will say that please select a pdf file first and in the else block we will. so what will happen now if you don't select it just refresh to me so it is saying document is not defined at page number sorry guys i made a mistake here uh, this needs to be document i think yeah this is document here so just refresh here so now you can see please select a pdf file first so this error message take place because we haven't selected a pdf document so now if the user has selected a pdf document in that case guys we will now be uh, we will have another uh, uh, if condition here first of all just another if condition that if the checkboxes hasn't been selected in that case also we will say that please select a position we can even have default position as well but in that in this case we will allow the user to select a position so just add a return statement in each of the if blocks so 
now guys uh, basically if you now select a pdf document but if you haven't select uh, this one so you will say please select a position so now we need to select a position and uh, now after that we now need to process the positioning so we will basically now create pdf buffer variable and uh, this needs to be a, a, a async function guys for this so just have this async because we are using await keyword here because a await can only be used inside async function so you do need to make this function async and here we will simply say pdf file dot and we will use the array buffer method of the pdf file variable we will convert this into array buffer and after that guys we will say that uh, pdf doc await we will instantiate this library pdf lib like guys and is in this library it basically contains a load method pdf document dot load and then pdf buffer we will pass the buffer buffer here inside this so after that guys we can calculate how many pages are there inside the actual pdf document that the user has selected so this value comes here pdf doc get pages dot length you can just print out this value guys in the console how many pages are there so if you want to cross check let's suppose if i upload a pdf it contains two pages if i now check the console so two uh, will be printed out if i select different document let's suppose this one bulk file 23 pages so now it contains 23 pages so it uh, dynamically calculate the value of pages which are present inside the pdf document guys and now we will basically run a for loop <coughs> so for let i is equal to 0 i will run until the page count and then i plus plus so inside this for loop guys what we will do is that we will simply for each page what we will do pdf doc and uh, we will say get pages we will get the page existing page this will be the current page and we will get the current page and now we will insert the text here so text will be equal to you can have this back tick symbol you can have a template which is i plus one so page one of the total number of pages so in this case this will be the value will be in the page count and now we need to simply uh, get the page size as well calculate the page size we can get the value using page dot get size so all this is available inside pdf lib guys it's a very tremendous powerful library which uh, calculates all these things dynamically and then we just need to say bottom y position to be 20 static position you can change this positioning customize this and then we will basically calculate bottom x position and based upon uh, which uh, position that you selected to basically add the page numbering we will use the switch statement here guys selected position dot value so selected position is coming guys here because whichever checkboxes have been selected either you have selected the left position right position or bottom position so we are using the switch statement right here based upon the value we will have three cases first case will be for the left positioning and for the left positioning guys as you know switch operator works like this bottom x will be equal to here 30 and we will break and in the case of the right positioning guys we will say bottom x will be equal to this is a formula page size uh, dot width multi, uh, minus 70 this is simple math we are applying guys uh, and uh, that's all then we just need to break as well and uh, that's all so this is a switch statement guys uh, two cases are there uh, either for the third one also let me have case bottom 
and the third one will be this time the bottom x position will be equal to page size dot width this will be divided by 2 and then we again need to break so these are the three cases that we define guys first for the left right and bottom so here we are manipulating the bottom x value here so each of the cases right here and uh, lastly guys just outside this switch statement we will actually draw the text here using this function page dot draw text we will draw the text at that position x will be equal to bottom x y will be equal to bottom y and you can also control the size as well font size you can even pass color value guys as well but default color is black you can even change the color as well and after that uh, you just need to save this document so just outside this for loop we will do that now to modify it pdf bytes just create this variable and await pdf doc and it contains a method save pdf lib library contains a save method which will actually save the file and now we need to basically uh, save this document so we will say modified pdf blob we will convert this into a blob using blob here new blob we will pass the array modify pdf bytes and the type will be equal to the object here will be application slash pdf the mem type so mem type is actually the extension image will be application dot image this will be application slash pdf now we will basically allow the user guys to actually download the file so here we will create a download link so for that we will create a anchor element document dot create element and then download link dot uh, href we will create the url here url dot create object url so here we will pass the blob like this and download link dot download will be equal to here we just need to give the name i can give at output dot pdf and then we will click it dynamically using click method it will automatically click itself that's all so this is all the javascript code which is required for this application if i refresh now if i select a pdf document click on the right positioning click on that and now you will see your file will be downloaded and this is a page numbering guys you will see that page 1 of 2 and if I show you this is the if you can see page 2 of 2 let me choose a different file guys uh, which contains lots of pages let's suppose I choose this file I add the positioning in the left one so now it contains 23 pages guys you will see that uh, this pdf document so at the left side left hand side you will see page 1 of 23 page 2 of 23 for every document guys you will you can basically you can see so all the pages will have this page 23 of 23 page 22 of 23 so in this way guys you can add page numberings to your pdf document using this awesome library called as pdf lib you can uh, uh, check out the documentation it's a very powerful library we will make more videos about this for more videos like this guys you can subscribe to this channel it uh, you can also check out my website freemediatools.com to it basically contains a lot of useful tools this is a website here so thank you very much guys for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and comment on this video and i will be seeing you in the next video